Massachusetts early voting is underway and ballot question four is our focus. Boston 25 News reporter Drew Karinas picks up the story from here. Former Hollywood actress Eliza Dushku says she's found her real calling after moving back home here to Massachusetts. She's now certified in psychedelic assisted therapy and will be talking about how it's changed her life at a rally here outside the state house in a final push to pass ballot question four. We've led the way on so many other medical breakthroughs. This is no different. You may recognize her from the hit movie Bring It On. Okay, so I've never cheered before, so what? And popular TV series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But Watertown native Eliza Dushku is working to make a different impression. And her determination to legalize and regulate the use of some psychedelic drugs in Massachusetts. It changed my life working with psychedelic assisted therapy. I think I spent arguably most of my life numbing and taking drugs and alcohol. Dushku calls psychedelic assisted therapy a breakthrough effective treatment that helped pull her out of a dark abyss of sub substance use disorder and childhood trauma. So many of our other treatments, I think, treat symptoms. You know, they treat symptoms of PTSD or treatment resistant depression or anxiety. And psychedelics really have an ability to kind of drop you into the root cause of what your trauma is. Dushku and her husband, Peter Polangin, a former professional tennis player, are advocating for a yes vote on ballot question four, appealing to veterans and people struggling with mental health conditions. I honor the fear as a parent of six children, but I don't honor the fear mongering. Palangin responding to criticism from opponents who are sharing concerns about a black market they say could follow the proposed law that would allow for the cultivation and sale of five types of substances, including psilocybin. If this were to pass, the way that the ballot question is written, all 351 cities and towns would have to allow these facilities into their communities. Chris Cohen with the Coalition for Safe Communities says opponents are worried about the amount of home growth that would be allowed and have questions about cost and access of substances found in mushrooms if legalized. I feel for the people that genuinely need help, genuinely need help. But they're being used as props right now and I frankly find it disgusting. If question four passes, Massachusetts would be the third state in the country to legalize certain psychedelics following Oregon and Colorado. Outside the statehouse, Drew Caritas for your local station, Boston 25 News.